Hey guys and welcome back. Uh, what I want to do today is show you how to beat Mission 7 on uh, the Golden Storm DLC on Disaster Difficulty. And for this mission, um, I'm using the Invisible Trooper. Now, you don't have to use the Invisible Trooper. You can use whichever class you want to. But I picked the Invisible Trooper uh, or Trooper class period just because he has a lot of item uh, holding ability and you're gonna need a gigantic, enormous 60 point mech <laughs> for this, for my way of doing it. So let me go ahead and show you what equipment I'm bringing in. Uh, first, we got the Gottfried and the Solnado. You're going to be using uh, mainly the Gottfried, but the Solnado was just something I had on me when I did the video. So for uh, the equipment, what you're gonna want is starting out, you're gonna want the 60 point Sphinx. Now, the Sphinx has a super beam pile that does 338 damage. It penetrates through enemies and the power increases the longer you fire it. And with 350 ammo, it does last a long enough time to take out a bunch of enemies. Now, the big boy is the Super Burst, which does 27,000 damage and it fires out 24 shots at 625 damage and then two more shots at 6,000 damage and they're they're homing and they got an A rank homing so they zoom right in on whatever you're aiming at and they deliver a whooping so this is the big boy this is what's going to do a lot of the damage dealing for you and then I just bring some quick feeders and something else I used uh, when beating this mission once before was the landmines, and if you lay them right, you can deal a whole lot of damage to the scorpions. Uh, just if you keep them kind of close together so they all kind of go off at once, uh, they can deliver, well, 10,000 damage each. And with a blast radius of 30 meters, it can do a lot of damage to the scorpions. So that's what I'm taking in uh, to this mission. Now, like I said, you can do this with any class you want to, but you're gonna wanna have a class that has enough points that you can bring in the Sphinx for this and some health. So that's that's the biggie. And if you don't have the Gottfried missile launcher, what you need to do is go kill like 50, 55 harvesters. I cannot remember if it's the regular harvesters or the super harvesters, but there's a mission on here where there's a bunch of harvesters and you just, and it has both types. So just go play that mission several times and kill off the harvesters until you can purchase this weapon because it is a wonderful, wonderful weapon and I'll do a video on it sometime in the near future. Um, the Solnado, uh, the reason I brought that with me is because if a scorpion gets up on you and you pull out the Solnado at close range, this is an absolutely unbelievable weapon for up close devastation. And if you look here, you'll see that the Solnado does 303 damage, has 99 uh, rounds of ammo, and it recharges or reloads in three seconds. And the rechargeability on is quite fast. So you use it and let go of it and it will recharge real quick. I mean, as long as you don't use it all up where you have to wait that three seconds for the reload, but like stop when you have like 10 left, it will recharge fast and it delivers a ton of damage in a fraction of a second. So as you can see, it does 20 shots a second. So do the math, 303 damage per shot, and it does 20 shots a second. So we're looking at over 6,000 damage a second. It's an eviscerator, man. It just absolutely destroys the enemy. So, okay guys, that is the setup. Now let's go ahead and jump into the video. Okay, when the mission first starts, you can throw out some mines if you want to. Uh, you don't have to. I've done this mission without mines, but go ahead and throw them out if you want to. Just make sure that you get far enough back that you're out of the radius, the 30 meter radius, which I might be clear of it here, but then again, I might not be. So while you're waiting for your Sphinx to drop in, which I just laid a second ago, uh, go ahead and uh, pummel the Death Stalker with your Gottfried. Uh, it does a lot of damage in a very quick manner if you know how to use it. It is a lock-on weapon, but as you can see here, I'm firing it uh, by tapping the trigger. And it goes a lot quicker this way. <laughs> 
So uh, see, he got close enough. He set off that mine. So it it did some damage to him. wasn't dead center of it, but it did some damage, and I was clear of the the blast. So as I'm sitting here just blasting away at him, there you go. Took him out. Now you can roll forward again, throw out some more mines if you want to, because more Death Stalkers are going to start coming in just a second. So go ahead and get back to uh, your Sphinx and go ahead and climb on in it. All right, now this baby packs a punch. And you just stay back here in this shaded area. You don't need to go forward any. Just stay back here so that when the mines go off, you're not anywhere near them. And if those scorpions get close to you, uh, within range, go ahead and start firing out your, your missiles, your uh, uh, super burst with uh, L2. And it delivers, look at that, I mean, it just, it delivers a pounding. And it'll go to whichever one's closest. So be careful not to shoot it like I just did right there at that closer range because it, it hurt me pretty good. Now, if they get too close, just use your lasers, your super beam pile. And the beam pile will just tear them up. And like I said, it will penetrate them. And as you can see, I cleared out almost all of them. There was only two left. So get out your eviscerator if they get, or your eviscerator, your sonado if they get close enough. But uh, if they stay far enough back, just use your Gottfried. And as you can see here, I only had one left because the Sphinx just just delivered a pounding it just it tore them apart and with that much damage coming out at one time they, they just can't stand up to it so all right guys you see how quick that was <laughs> that is mission seven on disaster solo and with the sphinx you're you're a one-man army so just go ahead and run around pick up your gems and be done with this mission so, all right, guys, uh, the weapon that you get for this uh, eludes me at this moment. <laughs> but you do get a weapon for beating this. It is a double-A weapon, and I cannot remember which weapon it is. But uh, the, the reason I have forgotten is because I, and it, I thought I was recording this the first time that I played it on Disaster, but apparently I didn't have record on and uh, completely missed out on the, the weapon. Uh, being recorded as well so I cannot remember what the weapon was but you do get a double A weapon so alright guys you can see there I got a double A rank and the mission is complete and it was over with in just a matter of minutes so alright guys I hope you've enjoyed this video stay tuned more to come I've got another DLC mission complete on disaster so as always guys take care God bless and keep on gaming